Welcome to the 35th edition of the Sharjah International Book Fair Day 6. Today I have with me the American film director, producer, screenwriter and New York Times best-selling novelist Holly Goldberg Sloan. Hello Holly. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, how are you today? Great. I've had a wonderful time here. It's a pleasure to have you here. Well, Holly, um, I'm curious to know that as a screenwriter, how do you manage to break, uh, to bridge the gap between books and film? I do both jobs. I'm going to hold this now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feel comfortable. Thank you. That's where you could see I was a director. See, I just took the microphone away from her. Um, that's called wanting to be in charge. Uh, <laughs> I do both things. I started as a screenwriter, then I became a director, and then quite late actually in my career I started writing books. I did that out of necessity because the movie business started changing and it was easier for me to get movies made if they were books first. That's the truth of it. Um, but I love being a novelist. I like it actually more than being a screenwriter, but I still do both. When you directed uh, the live action film for Disney, uh, the soccer film, The Big Green, so what were the challenges that you faced in order to adapt your own work onto screen? The biggest challenge making that movie was the fact that there were children. Uh, it's about two teams of kids, so I had, I had 24 kids on location. We shot in Texas, and uh, one of the kids, this sounds as a crazy challenge, but one of the kids broke his arm after I'd already shot for two weeks. And the studio told me that I should fire him okay. and reshoot it, but I, I just couldn't do that. So I started putting him in a long shirt and covering the fact that he had a broken arm. If you watch the movie carefully, there's a kid playing soccer with like a hidden broken yeah. arm. So most of my challenges at that point were practical challenges. People breaking arms, fire ants, biting people, things like that. The realities of making a movie. Okay, um, the film I'll Be There had a sequel called uh, Just Call My Name that was aired on TV series. So um, my question is that how is writing and producing television series different uh, when compared with films? Which one would you say has been convenient for you? Well, we haven't actually started shooting yet. I'll Be There and Just Call My Name were optioned by ABC Family, which is now called Freeform to be a television series. Yeah. So we've written the pilot, and now we're talking about the series, the arc of the series. Television moves a lot quicker than film, okay. uh, and it has a kind of ferocious appetite. It needs material. Uh, but television today is also very watched over by the network. They give me so many notes, you cannot believe it. <laughs> but um, it's an exciting thing because of the fat because of the speed and um, I also noticed that most of your books and films are based on family entertainment so what has inspired you to work on this theme I'm interested in children I'm interested in families and there are many things I'm not interested in so I'm not interested in violence I'm I'm not interested in uh, writing about drugs there are certain things that I don't think the world actually needs more of, and so I'm not interested in writing about them. But there are plenty of people who are, so it's not as if the world is missing them. Last question. Uh, your upcoming novel titled Short uh, is going to be published in January 2017. S um, have you had, are, are you planning to adapt that book into a film or series? Yes, I am, okay. and I'm very, excited about that I love the book so much comes out January 31st in the United States and we've sold it to Germany and to Italy Spain the UK maybe it will appear in Arabic that would be a dream after being here thank you so much for having me. thank you it was a pleasure to have you here Holly with us keep watching Manipal Dubai TV and stay tuned for more updates with reporters Sakina Habib and camera person Shruti Shah.